So, hi everybody. Glad to see you here. Maybe uh, you will see this uh, live event uh, in uh, uh, in recording because I, I still understand that my audience is not that high, uh, not so many people uh, in it. So, recording is not that bad too. So today I'm going to discuss the topic of a uh, formal approach to uh, health and safety tools. Uh, we had similar event a couple of days ago in Russian, and then uh, I also think that this is a good idea to have uh, this uh, information available for my English-speaking audience. So uh, a few words about me. Um, I was head of uh, health and safety in quite large company with uh, 85,000 people. Uh, steel and uh, iron ore and uh, coal production, so quite a huge one. And uh, uh, we had good results, including uh, winning of um, program of the year in IIRSM uh, last year. So now uh, uh, I started my work as a, um, as a trainer, so I founded uh, the school which is new health and safety school for people at different level of uh, organizations, mostly managers and directors. Uh, and uh, most of the people are happy <laughs> and some changing jobs and, uh, and so on, uh, doing good job for their employees and or maybe new employee, employers. Uh, so today's topic is a formal approach to health and safety. And uh, this is something that so many people uh, see in their work. So many companies do that. So what is it that uh, uh, workers just tick boxes, uh, put some general phrases, and uh, don't care about what's written in the documents? So this is <laughs> what we uh, face, I would say, really, really often in, in many, many organizations. Uh, most of organizations uh, come to this. Uh, why did I choose uh, this topic? Uh, maybe two weeks ago, uh, I was uh, um, conducting a training for a group of quite advanced specialists and uh, at a mining company. And uh, this company was quite advanced. So they have many tools, they have uh, they have good results comparing to other companies in the region. So uh, people were quite advanced. But at the same time, they felt that in their safety culture, they are still not uh, in that level where they want to be. So they understand that they do a lot, but still they are not there. Uh, but to understand what exactly can be the way for them to progress, what else can they do? That was an issue. And uh, while we were discussing different things, what can we do to make it work better? Uh, the most fruitful discussion was about this formal approach to health and safety, because they have it. And uh, while looking for root causes of this uh, formality, uh, we did so many interesting things that I decided that, that this is really interesting topic to discuss uh, in this live event uh, together with you. So I'm happy that uh, we have some people to ask questions. Uh, I will start from uh, from my views on the root causes and uh, things that we can do with it, and then I will answer your questions too. So what are the roots? Um, when we were dis discussing this topic, uh, that was two suggestions from the group, what was the reason? And uh, it was, uh, people are lazy. <laughs> That's why they do things not uh, in, the, in, in the way uh, as it is described in the systems. And another one uh, was about people are in a hurry. So they just don't have enough time to feel uh, everything as it should be in, in their documents. So this, this was uh, two suggestions. But if we look um, at these answers, this is, these are not the roots. So there are, these are also consequences. Uh, if we take this laziness, people are lazy, 
uh, we are all lazy <laughs> and uh, we are more lazy when uh, we don't understand why we do this so there are no uh, motivation to do this mm, two sides motivation from side of um, of my salary and my targets set by uh, by my employer one of those mm, and also related to the task so i don't see uh, the meaning of these actions to the work i'm doing so i'm doing something uh, let's say useless so uh, nobody will um, assess this job yes if so you are just doing something which has no value you can put uh, uh, just tick boxes in the document or you can put um, all the things inside but nobody cares so next time you are lazy you don't want to make it again because nobody uh, uh, encourage you to to repeat that so this is <laughs> the lazy Another side of being lazy is uh, uh, the fact that this job is uh, too difficult to do. So you're repeating that and it takes your time and energy. And again, you don't have um, the output. You don't have motivation to do that. So it's too difficult. There are barriers that you should uh, overcome on the way. So there are things that makes you uh, really stressed about uh, doing these uh, things. So uh the, these are the reasons and also uh it's not clear what you should do so you don't, you are not trained well you don't have uh, enough information to make this work uh, right so there are things that stop you from doing you don't understand how to do it so there are barriers of course that that sucks your energy out you don't mm, and that makes you lazy next time you you do this job you understand that you don't want to uh to start it so you make some shortcuts on the way another side is uh, being in a hurry and i would say that there are two important things about being in a hurry this is priorities and this is uh how um, the task is set so when we have some unreal task uh, when we have too many things to do uh, to complete the job uh, then we came to priorities and if it's not paid well people will not do so people should cut something if there's too many things to do uh, on the way of completing the work so when people are in a hurry um, they look what's what is the most important thing and they cut the rest and why does it happen because processes are not uh, working well because uh, during implementation or control or uh, or continuous improvement of processes we didn't uh, understood that there is a problem we didn't took on the table the, the question of uh, um, of two complicated procedures uh, of and we understand that people cut that procedures all the time uh, and uh, in addition to those topics, I would also add uh, another reason that everybody is doing it. So the reason of, of formality in uh, health and safety is also uh, the fact that other people always do like this. So I'm just repeating what other people do in combination with uh, being in a hurry and in combination of processes which are not set well. So two root causes which i would mention here um, after discussion of these root causes uh, is about processes and about motivation so two things which are important when we look at uh, formality in health and safety within processes there are three uh, uh, i would say directions and the main one i would say that this is the most important topic for the for the whole uh, consequences these are uh, this is the the implementation of projects or project management because with project management we um, we define how to make these processes integrated in the whole system uh, 
do we have enough time to do it? Can we cut some of the systems, uh, some of the steps um, to make it real um, from the beginning? To understand what are the interests of different sites, what are the interests of production? Can we find some um, common goals together? And uh, some good example of, uh, of making it work is about implementation of contractor safety management. Uh, I always see that, um, that uh, other functions, you know, some repairing, uh, maintenance stuff, uh, production, they also have problems with contractors about, especially about the fact that um, contractors are usually are choosing just uh, with the price. So best price is winning the game. And uh, this is a problem for many functions. And if we can uh, make it work differently through safety tools, uh, this is something that they really support. Other functions support the idea of uh, adding quality, adding uh, some information from previous contracts with the same company. So that works well. That makes them more interested. So if we get it into uh, some working groups, when we discuss what are the interests, when we discuss all the tools, mm, mm, we can make it work better. So everything is working. For example, mm, even these risk assessments for, for the work before tender, uh, mm, preparation of uh, task for the job. That is interesting for other functions. So it's we're not pushing it from safety side. We are not making the document sending out for everybody. Uh, please take a note of it and, uh, and and do it from next month. This doesn't work. That leads to formality. Uh, the other side is to prepare it with the group, to discuss it, to find common interests, to discuss all the tools to in, to make it integrated into systems to make time shorter, to find the things that are having not just uh, safety um, interest, but also some others. With this approach, that works much better. So implementation goes much smoother. Uh, people start using it, not just comply, but also they see benefits for their work. So uh, such way of implementation is, uh, having lots of, uh, uh, that makes everything more simple. Then within the processes, we should also have some tool to control how th th this procedure works uh, in reality. So mm, everything which we don't control in the world uh, is just uh, dying. It's like a, uh, some building. If you leave the building, without any uh, control, if you don't uh, keep it uh, in a good condition, if you don't cut the grass around. So nature will just eat this house in, in just a few years. That's clear what happens with... Uh, so the same thing we have with the systems in safety, if we implement and then do not look how it works, uh, do not control, do not monitor, um, and... Uh, it goes how it goes. So it comes to this, uh, to what is called um, normal practice. So what is this normal practice? This is uh, um, the uh, standards are usually decreased. They go down. Some something uh, uh, people take shortcuts, and then nobody see that uh, this is important, and then they leave it as uh, as the day the daily job. Uh, they, there is also um, this organizational side, uh, normal practice. For example, if we don't buy things, uh, some I don't know lanyards or something for uh, for maintenance activities or, or for um, loading, uh, we don't buy it once. We don't keep the reserve. Mm, nobody cares. Nobody give you comments that uh, you should change it, and then it becomes normal practice. So you don't have reserve. If something is broken, then you have uh, nothing to uh, to use instead. Normal practice uh, is something how we do things, and this is lower than expectations in the standards. So if, if, this, is, if this topic is interesting for you, this is um, human performance tools, uh, you can find it.
so we need to control uh, procedures which are important for the system. So in, in some daily activities to uh, as part of implementation, we can add these topics into um, some checklists or uh, some other tools which are used uh, all the time. And uh, um, continuous development. Another thing that um, in addition to how we set the standard you know, in the beginning, we also look what are the ways to improve it. So as part of the auditing process, as part of uh, um, like understanding of risk profile of uh, organization, we should have these processes analyzed too. So formal approaches uh, improved through processes quite easily. Another thing is uh, motivation. We all go to work for money. Yeah, there are some <laughs> higher uh, things that we also get from our jobs, but first thing why we get up and go somewhere uh, is because the, this is our way of uh, of maybe making our dreams come true through money we get from the job. So if our motivation to do something from safety is not linked with uh, the way how we, what we get from our job, it's also, uh, we are not so motivated to do that. So priority doesn't, uh, work in the way that safety is just not discussed. These tools should be implemented. And it's, there is, uh, it's important to have this motivation to perform safety uh, part of the job at every uh, level of hierarchy. Um, there are different tools, maybe you, I don't know if you heard or, or know, uh, how to cascade uh, these targets through the organization. So, this is about uh, mm, how we spread uh, mm, the balance between leading and lagging indicators. So lagging indicators should be mostly focused on um, top level in the organization. So this for top managers and uh, managers of the plants. And uh, when we're talking about mm, workforce, they should have leading indicators. So it's managing risks and what they do in their work. So these are, this is what uh, is important for them. And this balance uh, is changing on the way. So maybe who is interested, I can send you some information about it if, uh, if uh, you hear that for the first time. So this was something I wanted to discuss during uh, this uh, meeting. If uh, somebody have questions here on the YouTube or uh, Instagram, please uh, send the message. By now, I don't see questions, <laughs> uh, which is uh, maybe fine because this was the first um, event like this. So you can leave maybe uh, your questions in the comments and uh, uh, I will answer it a bit later. So uh, I, I see some, some people has joined uh, right now. Any questions about uh, formality at work? Uh, do you see that uh, this happening in, in your organization? So ticking the box, uh, some tools are not uh, really used in real life, but just part of, um, they just do it because you ask them, but they don't see that this is important. Okay, so I will not push anybody to um, answer questions. Uh, I was glad to see you all here. So uh, see you next time. Mm, next time I will make some notification about these live events uh, to let you know that we will have this discussion and uh, to maybe pr be prepared to your questions. And if you have anything to ask, uh, if you are interested in, in making the progress in safety and you have some questions, so, uh, especially if you are working in some challenging environment, which I'm, uh, which is really something that um, I, I got used to. So, please ask, and uh, I will raise that topics and that answer your questions on uh, my further life events. So, thank you for coming.
and bye bye see you next time